Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is April Hernandez, and I have been given the wonderful opportunity uh, tonight to say a few words about my very dear friends, Ian and Amy. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I would like to take a moment uh, quickly to thank uh, Steve and Tina for putting together an amazing day, and also Amy and Amy for allowing me to be a part of it. So please give them a round of applause. Fornication. Excuse me, excuse me. For an occasion such as this, I feel it's important to start at the beginning. Ian Michael Verdugo was born on February 17th, 1983, at Queen of the Valley Hospital in Covina, California. Sharing the birthday with other notable brainiacs. Paris Hilton and Larry the Kid back. Uh, in researching this speech, um, I decided to go back down to Queen of the Valley and uh, speak with a few of the nurses there to see if they could give any insight on such a historic event occurring at their hospital. And while none of the nurses there remember Ian specifically, they do remember naming that day as Ugly Thursday. <laughs> what a great day to get married. <laughs> Marriage carries many new responsibilities, Amy. From now on, you should never argue or disagree with him because he's the new head of the household and he perfect at all times, and to dress in a way that pleases Ian. Wow. You should cook his favorite meals every night and encourage him to go out with his friends on a regular basis. If you, if you do these things, what is your and giving a round of applause for this gorgeous bridal party we have up here. Um, Amy, you look beautiful, as always. Thank you. Uh, today is a very sad day for all us single men. Uh, as another independent, artistic, talented woman is officially taken off the market. <laughs> Um, but just the same, I'm, I'm sure all the ladies in the room will join me today in, in saying that today is just another Saturday. Uh, I remember meeting Amy for the first time in, um, in my sophomore history class. And uh, my first memory of her was her telling me that her favorite band was the Violent Femmes. Uh, and I was like, I remember thinking to myself, whoa, this new chick is cute and totally digs music. And that was like a huge sign for me because I remember when I met Ian in fourth grade, I was like, whoa, this new chick is cute and totally digs music. He's a changed man who is 100% uh, in love with the girl of his dreams. Um, I myself, I'm not married, um, so I may not be the best man to give advice. I mean, I, I'm in a relationship, I'm not married. But uh, if it, I can give you one piece of advice, it's that uh, my girlfriend and I, we never go to bed angry. Um, mostly because we stay up all night and argue. <laughs> Ian, uh, when Ian first asked me to be his best man, 
my, my initial thought was, suck on that, Julian and Christian. <laughs> Thank you. 